Hello guys, so we want to test this Minimax M23 if it's worth by coding using this free model which we can find here in Open Router. And since this was released 5 days ago, the time I'm filming this video, it has been used 40 billion tokens so that means many are satisfied using this and if we go inside, lots of requests coming from Kilo Code. So we will be using Kilo Code to test this model. The quickest way to do if a model is intelligent enough to use invite coding, we can have this single prompt to create a WordPress team. People are asking why we keep building WordPress team. Well, we are not. We are just using this as a test to see whether the model will be intelligent enough to do white coding. And since this one is free, it's worth testing. First step that you have to do is copy this whole prompt until here. Now we're gonna open a blank build pad and paste that right there. So for this niche, we will try this simple tofu recipes. That's going to be our main niche. And you can see these are the topics that we can test. So why we need a niche? It's because here, so that the prompt will determine what type of theme it is going to do. So here I'm going to have the folder name as simple tofu recipes. It doesn't matter if it has space. It will automatically fix that when we code it. So the title will be the same. Team name, just keep it same. So color palettes, let's have code or the minimax model to decide. When you remove the color palettes, once all configuration is done, you will need this software. It's called Docal WP. This is for you to run WordPress in your computer. Once you install that, it will look like this. So we're going to pick this add site and click on continue. So let's name our site the same thing, simple tofu recipes, click on continue. So once the WordPress is installed, just toggle this so that when you click this, you won't need to enter the credentials. And as you can see, we successfully installed our WordPress. The dashboard admin is running. Now going back here in local WP, click this VS code. So you will have here all your WordPress files. We're going to select Kilo code right here. And let's go to configuration. Now the provider is select Kilo code right here. And if you're signed out, you just need to click this to log into Kilo code and authenticate yourself. Use your Gmail account to authenticate and you will be able to get the Kilo code API key. Now the models that you find from Open Router, they're also available here in Kilo code. So back in Open Router, we're going to copy this and just search that, which is right here. Okay, M23, save that, click on done. Now let's copy everything, this whole prompt, and we will paste that right here. And now let's wait for a few minutes. Actually guys, Minimax free is not available in Kilo code. So still we are using the Kilo code, but here in the API provider, just select open router. And here you'll be able to find a Minimax free and click on save and then done. So as you can see here, model not found. Now we're gonna retry and you will see right here, it started coding. So let's wait for a few minutes. So it's using the Minimax free. Hopefully we will get a really nice result using our prompt and this free model from Open Router. All right, guys. So as you can see, Minimax M23 completed the request via Kilo Code. So here is the summary. And if we go to our files right here, you will see these are the theme files. So we should be able to see this now in our WordPress dashboard. So coming back here in our WordPress dashboard, you will see right here, this is the simple tofu recipe theme. And let's activate this. All right, to be no issues, let's visit the site. Oh, there you go. It's not bad for a free model right here. Tofu illustration. So we will have the aim to have a image of a tofu recipe right here. And we have the frequently asked question. Yay, good. Now we have the latest recipe and we have this error. So it's fine. You can just copy this. I'll head back here. Let's paste the error and let's wait for a few moments for Minimax to fix the issue. So using Nano Banana, we generated this hero section image. We're going to download this. And as you can see, it should now fix the issue. Before that, I'm going to drag the images here in the asset folder. And here we're going to rename this to heroes that section. That's what we mentioned in the prompt. Now, when we refresh the page, we should see the hero section image right here. And there you go. As you can see, our post section is now fixed. So let's take a look. So this is how it's going to look like when you view the post section. Now, there is an issue here somewhere in the top of the team. It's not in full screen. Now, what you're going to do is take a snapshot and let's paste it right here. Oh, image is not supported. Now we're just going to tell. And so here, I just told Kilo code using Minimax M23 to fix the about section. And also we moved the hero section image. That's why it was not loading. It should be inside images as per the instruction here. You see right here, add hero image to assets, images, hero. So he did that and it completed the task. Now let's have a look. And as you can see right here, it started to get decent. So we will need to add the logo and it will be good. Now here it fixed the about section. We will just need to add another image beside the about section here. And we have the frequently asked question. Now we have the latest recipes or the latest blog post that we should be adding 
here. Now we want to see how it would look like with the actual post. So going back to the Google people also ask section, we grab these two right here and let's try to generate these two sample articles. So I'm just using this article AI generator. We go to the bulk articles right here and scroll down. We're going to paste the article, these two samples. Now you can paste up to 50 blog posts here. If you want to generate bulk articles to speed up your work, we will get everything as is, but we will just have to generate a featured image to post it in the blog section. Now, if your website is in the server, since it's in the local, I won't be able to auto post it, but if it's already in your domain, you can auto post that just by adding your site right here with the credentials. But since it's still in our local and we're still by coding it, I'm just gonna leave auto post as no, we just need the articles. So let's go ahead and generate these two and let's wait for a few moments. So both of them have been completed. So let's add this first article. So beauty content, and this is going to be the featured image and this is going to be our full article, which we will add in our new WordPress team. So from here, let's create a new post and let's copy the title right here, paste it there. Now I'm going to save this image and set it as featured image. And from here, set that as featured image. All right, that's done. And copy the content, paste it right here. Now, when you copy the content, it, it has featured image. Just remove this because we already set it in the featured image because the image will also be copied. Now publish this and it's time for us to view how it's going to look like. So this is how it's looking for a blog post. It's not showing the full blog, so we will need to modify it. I'm just going to say single.php is not showing the full post. So that's the file name of the template that we need to modify. All right, so Kilo code found the issue. This single.php was not created. Now it's going to check the original request. And you can just tell Kilo code to fix whatever issue you find because here we are using the free model. So we won't be paying anything. We just need to write code as long as it allows. It's within the limit and just go ahead and fix your issue using the Minimax M23. All right, there you go. So that's our single that big page. And you can see the contents are here. This is our SEO friendly article and the template looks beautiful. All right, so it has the header, it has the previous article and then a related recipe. So when we add more articles, which we're gonna do now, so I'm gonna add another post because we have another article right here, this one. So we also gonna add this, copy the title and this is the beautiful feature image. I'm gonna save this feature image is there and then copy the content and again, delete this. We're gonna publish and view this post. This is our second post. And if you have your other post, it will be shown here in the latest article or latest recipe. And look at that clean looking theme by using this free template, which is the Minimax M2. So there you go, guys. So if you go to the home page and we go to all the recipes, so it's displayed nicely here. It's actually looking you use the Sonnet 4.5 here or any type of the paid model to code this. It looks decent. So you can use this when you're by coding your project. So it's amazing and it provided a decent thing for us. It just did not get it from the very beginning, but you just need to vibe code and mention the issue that you're encountering. Then it's ready to fix that problem. I think that's about it guys. So leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. See you in the next one.